far this year. Well, the Canadian economy's darkest days are in the past, according to the new Conference Board report. That's welcome news for the country's second largest province by population. RBC Economics says Quebec is on track for positive growth in 2010. Joining me now is Pierre Arcand, Quebec's Minister of International Relations. Mr. Minister, good to have you on the program. Nice to be Thank here. Thank you man. so much for joining us. Can you characterize the economic environment right now in Quebec? Well, I think that Ke Quebec basically is doing uh, better uh, for many reasons. First of all, we have invested a lot in the infrastructure, so there's been a lot of public money uh, going into the uh, uh, into the, uh, the economy. And the other thing also that we have done is that uh, we have attracted a good amount of uh, industries in many, I would say, sectors that were quite uh, good, like aeronautics, for example, uh, life sciences, uh, I would say uh, other sectors as well, that uh, information technologies, things like that. And of course, energy is so critical. Tell me what you see in terms of the energy area right now and what the demand picture looks like well I think that the energy right now that we have is a uh, first of all we have a lot of hydroelectricity as you would see and also what is good is that uh, right now we see that uh, no matter what we do about the environment the demand for energy will be growing at a very fast pace especially if the economy starts recovering so we see that demand for energy and since we uh, we have hydroelectricity and we are among the top producers of hydroelectricity and don't forget it's a renewable form of energy so it's it's very important for the environment and for the future and I think we're the solutions to many of the problems that the United States faces right now in terms of environment and and you are seeing real demand there what can you tell us in terms of buying into that notion and the actual demand and and purchasing of that uh, energy well of course about 10 to 15 percent of what we export right now is being exported to the United States right of course it's a question of, of offer and demand. Uh, we are currently, uh, we have started negotiations with some uh, U.S. states. Uh, we will have eventually with the state of New York, for example, some other negotiations. It's all a question, of course, of trying to have the, uh, the right price at the right moment, and uh, it evolves uh, all the time. But I would say that uh, for now, uh, I think that we're a very good solution in terms of pricing. Do you worry about closed economies given where we are? So much talk about protectionism, so much talk about the possibility of, of trade frictions between the U.S. and, and, and China. I wonder where uh, Quebec fits into that and, and, and what changes you've seen since this financial fallout in that regard? I think that we need more than ever to be very strong in terms of free trade. I think protectionism is not the issue. With protectionism, we're just buying time. We think that we need to uh, have free trades. Canada started even negotiations with the European Union, some free trade agreements. And I think eventually the United States will have to come up with free trade agreements uh, with the European nations. So we try to be ahead of the game in that. And we feel, believe for, uh, very uh, bluntly that uh, free trade is a solution to the future. Uh, since 1985, we've had uh, free trade agreements with the United States. Right. And don't forget that 7 million jobs in the United States depend on free trade. Right. Well, this is what we're talking about. And, and given the U.S. is one of Quebec's main trading partners, this is more important than ever uh, really uh, on the table in terms of a trade. Health care, one of your big priorities. Let's talk about this for a moment. In spite of the downturn, the Quebec government is still investing in this. Weigh in on the debate going on in terms of health care. What lessons can we learn uh, from Quebec? What has worked? Well, what has worked is that, first of all, we have a system that is basically, of course, fair. That's one thing. The second thing is that in Quebec, you can still have uh, some uh, see private doctors, for example. But basically, this is a fair public health care system that has some flaws maybe from time to time. What but is fair? What, what do you mean by fair? Fair is because everybody is, uh, who uh, wants to get health care, no matter what kind of revenues that they have, can get health care. So it's a public uh, system that is fair to everybody. And that's been going on since 1970. And I think that basically, once you go into an hospital in the province of Quebec, as in fact in all Canada, one thing for sure is that you get well treated. Mm -hmm. 
Minister Arcan, good to have you on the program. It's been a pleasure to be we here. We so appreciate your time today. Pierre Arcan is uh, Quebec Minister of International Relations. We'll see you soon, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank there you. are concerns that the dollar would stay weak for this foreseeable future. We've actually seen the Canadian dollar benefit from the U.S. dollar's weakness. Up next, find out how you can protect yourself from a weak greenback when we continue on the closing bell.